Right, welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, case statements. They're used a lot, um, and especially if you're doing machine learning, um, really, really handy to apply attributes to a piece of data that you further use on your machine learning model. So the idea behind a case statement is, it basically goes off, runs a bit of code on a particular string or strings in a column or columns, and then it creates a new, you can create a new uh, column with a piece of data assigned to it. Um, so let's just have a look at this example. I'll just take you through it. So today, again, like the previous videos we did on wildcards and just the general how to select records, we're gonna use the table country. We're also gonna use, we're gonna use a table called name and we're gonna use a table called ISO code, okay? So what we're gonna do here is, first of all, I'm gonna select the name, okay? And then our first, our first case statement, what we're going to do is going to open up, you open it up with case and capitals, um, and you always do it in as, and that gives you ID. So what it does is it creates a, in the, out, the output that you ask to generate, it, you can name it a column. And what that column does is puts the output of whatever is, comes from the case statement into that column. Now just one thing to note about that column, that column is not saved to the database. So if you wanted this to be saved in a database, you would have to run additional logic to do an update statement into a database. But that's for a video further on. So let's take you through the case statement. So the case basically says, when you open up, you go case, and then you go, when the name, the column name is like A. So previously in our previous video, we um, did these uh, wildcard statements. So we're basically saying anything that starts with A and has any value after it, um, that's what the percentage does, return a value one. If that criteria is met, just return a value zero. And the final thing is put it into that column ID. Okay, so we've already ran this, right? And as you can see, when we go down to here, it's first of all created column ID. And what happens is it's created beside Australia, Austria, and Austria. It's put in the value one. Now you could uh, you could theoretically change that to. Let's just do this. Let's just go like. Just put in yes, okay. And let's run this. So there, now you can see we've actually changed the value. So you could put in a integer type value or you can put in a, just a string value character. Um, it doesn't really matter, whatever, I suppose whatever really is the case statement is doing for you and whatever you need. So that's just an example of how you would do that. So I'm just gonna change that back to one and we'll just remove that. And then we just do this, okay. So that's all, return those values as a value one. So let's move on to the next scenario of a case statement where we might be able to apply it. So you want to basically uh, apply this case statement, but say you want to do it over a, a multitude of different values. Well, that is very easily done within the case statement. Um, so again, we're gonna stick with the name, but what we we'll do is, sorry, one second. Copy this down a couple of times. Uh, what we're basically saying is, so say we want to do, we've hey, so we want to do D here, right? And let's just say B. Um, and then let's just change this string here to say K, all right? So this is just gonna look for K at the end. So what we'll do here is change this to a two, as an example, three, four, and let's just do one more, five. And um, let's just say, let's change this to a Y. Okay. All this is doing now is it's applying these wildcard statements. Uh, basically, if the wildcard statements are met, then it's going to apply either a value of one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't find any of them, it's going to say zero. And again, what it's going to do is it's going to put the output of any of these values found into this column ID. Right, so the output of that is, as you can see, anything for A um, basically has a value of one, okay, as before. Then we look at D, so there is one D mark, D, D mark is two, so only other, the D mark, two D marks in there. Three for Belgium, or starts with B. Four ends with a K. Um, so something to notice here with this line number four, it's basically saying, and find me anything with ends in K, and it doesn't matter what's before it, imply four. Now, if you were looking at Denmark, 
you would think that should reply that. But because this case statement here was already run, it won't, it will ignore this because it's already been satisfied up here. Okay. And then the final one is Germany. Germany ends with a Y and that applies a five. Okay. So that is a scenario where you might be able to apply multiple, um, might be able to apply multiple case statements. So what happens if you want to apply a second case statement but to a different column? Well, that's coming up now in two seconds. Let's have a look. Right, there may be a scenario where you want to do additional uh, case statements but on a different column. So what I want to do is take you through some of the code here I've written. Uh, I haven't executed it yet, but um, you should basically be able to use this code to apply, check the, the uh, length of the ISO code column, and if it equals three, then just apply correct length. So that's what this line is doing. If it doesn't, you say it has an incorrect length, and what we're doing now is we're populating the output of this into a new column, and the column's name is called ISO length. Like before with ID, remember this is a temporary column, the column is not uh, saved to a table database, database table should I say, as a column. So as before you need to basically go and uh, create a insert statement to save that up. So let's just run this, okay? So as you can see, it's run these first case statements um, correctly again. And then what it's done is it's also then run a second case statement, but it's run it on ISO length, okay? ISO code here. And as I said, it checked by length of three, and if it's correct length, fine. If it's not, just put in correct length. But in this instance, we know it's all correct length. So if we go back here, all the values in ISO code, all the way down here, are all a length of three. Okay, so that is how you would apply case statements as introduction to using case statements. How would how would you set them up? Um, different parameters around them and how you can use multiple case statements on different columns uh, at once, and then obviously create a column to show the outputs for the different case statements. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We have more videos coming out in SQL soon. Um, thanks for coming along, and we'll catch you soon. Take care, bye.